then after seven days Indra, his false ego was crushed and he came to Surabi and there at Govinda Kund he did Abhishek of Shri Krishna. So in Shastra it's described when you do Govardhan Puja, first you should do Guru Puja and Vaishnava Puja and Puja of the Brahmanas and Puja of the Cows. Here in Brajamanda, if British ancestors cannot come and directly do puja to Govardhan, then they make a murti of Giraj out of Kaaba and they do puja of that. In this way, we should try to honor this Anaput Mahotsav, which corresponds to the level of Asakti, text 10. The necessity of taking shelter of the lotus feet of Sri Radha is expressed by Srila Raghunath Das Goswami in his Swasankalpa Prakash Totra. Anabhadi Radha Padam Bhojarenam. How can a person become immersed in the ocean of Shamarasa? Shamarasa means Sringarasa. If he has never worshipped the dust of Radha's lotus feet, he has never taken shelter of a pastime place, Vrindavan, which is marked with the impressions of a lotus feet. <clears throat> and if he has never served the devotees whose hearts are submerged in her profound sentiments, it will never be possible. In the commentary, Srila Gurudev explained, While remembering this prayer, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur yearns to attain the wonderful and astonishing service of Sisi Radha Madhav. In order to be submerged in the ocean of Shamaras, that is Srimarasa, it is absolutely essential to worship the dust of the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika, who is the personification of Ladini Shakti. To worship Vrindavan Dham, a place of amorous pastimes, and to worship her demon most devotees. Except for this method, there is no other way to attain the service of Shri Radha If one will think that there is another way, then his hope is in vain. This is confirmed in Radharasa Sudhanidhi, Radha Dasya Vapasaya Prayatate Govinda Sangrashaya. Those who endeavor to attain the association of Krishna but reject the service of Radhika are like people who try to see the full moon when it is not the full moon night. In Stavava it stated, in Sunya Madasaka, Yai Kam Govindam Badaji Kamaji Dam Vikataya. I will never go near that hypocritical person who worships Govinda alone without Shimati Radhika. This is my vow. So, if Sham Krishna is directly the emperor of all transcendental mellows and the embodiment of Shingla Rasa, then Radhika is the embodiment of Madanaki Mahabhav. Shrimati Radhika is the cause of Krishna tasting the mellows of Sringarasa. In Chaitanya Chandamrita it stated, Krishna ke karaya shamarasa malupan. Shrimati Radhika makes Krishna drink the honey of shamaras, the amorous mellow. She engages in completely fulfilling all of Krishna's desires. Sringarasa is also called shamaras. This is the opinion of Sri Vishnu Devata, as it is recorded in Sahitya Dharma, Shamavano Yam Vishnu Devata. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur has sung Radhika Ujjwala Rasa Acharya. Srimati Radhika is the Acharya of Ujjwala Rasa. And the pure love between Radha and Krishna is meant to be discussed and contemplated. Those who keep Radhika's lotus feet in their hearts and worship them with great care obtain the priceless jewel of Sri Krishna's lotus feet. <laughs>
Cíntia?
contra el sol. Gopas and gopis, and especially 
Shrimati Radharani. In uh, this parikrama, we will go also to Uddhav Kyari near Nandagao, where Uddhav Ji directly witnessed Srimati Radharani's moods of separation when she spoke the Brahmara Geet to the bumblebee. So Uddhava became educated. He witnessed these moods of the Braj Gopis for four months. He stayed in Braj. And at that time, uh, he intimately associated with them and became, he came to some level of understanding of their high uh, states of Krishna Prem, but actually he had to admit that their level of Prem was far, far beyond his comprehension. It is as if someone is standing at the base of a very tall mountain, like Mount Everest, and he is looking up from the base, and so high it is, his hat falls off of his head onto the ground, he is straining to see how high it is. In this way, Buddha Ji witnessed the Braja Gopi's praying and the praying of Srimati Radharani. And Buddha prayed at that time. My desire, my asha, uh, is that I can simply become a tree, a creeper, a little shrub, just somewhere in Braja, so that I can at any time
his associates sort of Damada, Prada, Ananda, and others, they began to disappear from this world. At that time, Srila Ramanath Das Goswami found separation from Mahamu and his associates to be intolerable. So he made a vow to give up his life. So he wanted to first come to Vrindavan and give up his life here at Govardhan. But when he came here, he had the Jarshan, Srila Rupa Goswami and Srila Sanatana Goswami Bhai. They pacified him and gave him a place here. You should stay here and do my then here as Radha could. So Srila Sanatana Goswami Bhai, with his own hands, he personally made a small cottage for Raghunath Das Goswami to do by then here. So one day, Raghunath Das Goswami was thinking, oh, this couldn't, it's not fully manifested. How, how could it be possible that this could, could be manifested clearly? Then he thought to himself, oh, it's not possible. Why? Because Radha Kundi is a chain line, all made completely of his harmony. So as he was thinking in this way, then there was one wealthy person, this grace, and donate a very large amount of money to Srila Raghunath Das Goswami. So in this way, without any endeavor, automatically money came, and Srila Raghunath Das Goswami managed for the excavation of Shanakund and Radhakund as we see them today. So when he made Radhakund, then Radhakund was very straight, square. But Shanakund, uh, as we see today, he has many corners. It's very crooked, like Krishna. Radhakund is very straightforward, but Krishna is somewhat crooked. So the reason is, there were some trees uh, which were, uh, they were blocking the path by which the Shamakun could be made straight. So the idea was that these trees should be removed. But these trees, they came in the dream of Srila Raghunath Das Goswami. said, we are trees. We are five Pandavas, five Pandavas. And we are doing our something by then here to get the mercy of Radha and Krishna. So naturally, after some time, when we attain Siddhi, perfection of our desires, then it will become unmanifest. So Shamakun was manifested in the cookie form that we see today. Once the Akpa Bazaar, the emperor, he came to here with many, many soldiers and generals and horses. And his army were very thirsty. So they were looking for a place where they could take water. So they approached one Baba. Oh Baba, where can we take water? Where it was to the Raghunath Das Goswami, he says. You can, all your army can drink water here. So they thought, well, this is a very shallow place, there's hardly any water here. But when they came, all the men, all the horses, the elephants, everything, they took water, and yet the water was not reduced. Why? Because this is Jin Mai Dham, transcendental, inexhaustible. So many wonderful pastimes took place here. One day, Srila, who forgot Swami Pai, he was writing the poetry of Shavamala. And there, in his Chattu Kushpanjali, he has written, Navakauru Chanakaurim, Mabarindi Varanam Varam, Mani Stavaku Vidyoti, Veni Pyalam Varanam Oh Radhika, your complexion is bright and golden, like fresh Karocha. Your cloth is the color of fresh rain clouds. And your hair, which is tied in a long braid, is decorated on top with jewels, giving it the appearance of a very deadly black snake. So when she listened up to the Swami, read the poetry of Rupa Goswami, she said, Oh, I think that it's not appropriate to compare the brain of our Swami, who is so full of nectar, with a snake which is so full of poison. Then, then please give a suggestion so that I can correct this. But nothing, no idea came in the mind of Sanatana Goswami how to um, alter the writing of Sri Rupa Goswami Pai. So he said, I'll think about it. Just then, Sri Rupa Goswami Pai was walking here on the banks of Shamakund and Radhakund. And there he saw that there was one very sweet, kishori, beautiful young girl sitting on the swing surrounded by her suckies. And then he looked and saw 
as there was a very deadly black snake right behind her about to bite. So he ran and oh, Dali, Dali, watch out, watch out, there's a snake. Just then, that girl, she smiled at him very sweetly and disappeared. Everything disappeared. Then he realized, oh, this one's brittle bottle than me. So again, he gave the Shiva Rupa Goswami fire. And he said to him, oh, what you have written? Directly from your own realization. Oh, this is perfect. There's no need to change anything. Goswami. And other Goswamis, they came here and did bhajan. Shila Vishnu said, we start with bhajan from here this year. In fact, there's no Goswami or no member of our Guru Varga who did not come here and do bhajan at some time. So Srila Gurudev said that he's praying to Radhakund, which is the Abhinna Suruf of Radhika herself, not different from Shivati Radhika, that or she should sprinkle her mercy upon all of us. See Radhakund Saki.
Krishna braided right around his hair. You see his painting in the samadhis. So this is why Krishna is here, feeling right around him, he's cold. He's right around his hair and she has a mirror, just here. Hope he's picked flowers here at 11 o'clock every morning, he some flowers. He's famous for his flowers. For one time Krishna disguised himself as a gardener and accused all the gopis of stealing his flowers. So, right, uh, Gopis argued back and says, This is Rinda, Radharani can pick flowers anyway. She's Rinda Mishra. 
there was a big argument in the, many of the flowers that Gopis are carrying, they fall on the floor. And then Krish, Radharani sees in Krishna's bag the flute. And when she sees his flute, she says, this is no garden, this is Krishna who's going to play a trip. So then Radharani, they take off Krishna's disguise and say, ask Krishna, what will you do with all these flowers that just caused to fall in the dust? So Krishna says, I would like to braid and decorate Radharani. So he needs to wash the flowers, so he takes his flute and digs a hole in the floor, in the ground, and the water comes from the flute, and this creates a sarova. And then he washes the flowers and proceeds to braid and decorate them. So this, is, this place has been, Krishna's sarova has been described as the heart of the garage, as here Krishna is serving them.